and smile like this. I look like a freak right now. Hi guys, I'm back today with my acne foundation routine and before I show you guys how I cover up my acne, I wanna give you guys a background about my acne. I got acne back when I was in grade seven and next year I'm gonna graduate from university so that's almost nine years of having acne. It definitely has taken a toll on my self-confidence, has affected my self-esteem and deteriorated my self-worth. I'm making this video because I want to help anybody out there who is suffering from acne. As vain and superficial as putting foundation on may sound, it definitely has helped me walk down the street and just talk to people in a different way. I've only been using makeup for two years, so everything I do is amateur. I'm far from beauty guru status, but I hope this video does help someone up there. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to show you guys my face without any makeup on real quick. As you guys can see, I do have a lot of acne scarring from high school. I used to have a lot more acne, so it's got a lot better since. I just cleansed my face and put a toner on. And the first step to my foundation routine is a moisturizer. The moisturizer I'm using today is going to be from Cyphel, and this is their daily facial moisturizer. And this is my daytime moisturizer. The reason for this is because this does contain SPF 15 in it, so it really prevents any dark spots from building up on your skin. I'm going to take two pumps of this on my fingers and apply it to my face. My skin is pretty dry in some areas so the foundation does cake around. The moisturizer does a really good job of like preventing that cake from building up so that's why I like to apply a lot of moisturizer on my skin. So I'm just going to let that sit for one or two minutes. During this time I usually put on a chapstick or I go out and pick a cute outfit but since I'm not going anywhere right now I'm not sure what to do. Do you guys want to like hear some music? I'll show you guys like my favorite song right now. <laughs> I'm like choking right now. Anyways, my next step is using a primer and the primer I'm going to be using today is from Smashbox. This is their photo finish foundation primer. I've mentioned this primer in a favorites video in the past so I'll link that in the bottom if you guys want to check that out. You apply pea size amount like this, a little bit goes a long way. What a primer does for you is it basically makes the foundation glide on way easier. Like all the nips and bumps you have on your skin get smoothed out, like your pores tighten up so it's not as gross looking. Moving on to the most important step of the foundation routine, the actual foundation. I'm using the Revlon Colorstay 24-7 in the color 250 Fresh Beige. This is a drugstore foundation so it's not really expensive. I got this for $17 but I'm sure you guys can find this for like $12 or $13 at your local drugstore. This is a full coverage foundation. I actually purchased this based on the recommendations of other YouTubers. A lot of people say their favorite drugstore foundation is this foundation so that's why I decided to give this a try. One thing I dislike about this foundation is how you get the product out. It's actually really hard to get the product out before because it was really solid inside so I would have to get a toothpick and like scoop it out but I think I shook it up a lot so it should come out more naturally hopefully. Just kidding it's not coming out right now. Why don't you like gush out all at once FML. Scooping it out using a toothpick. I am so ghetto. OMG. And you just take a foundation brush or any brush you have or even you can use your hands if they're clean. You apply it onto your face. What I do is I do a padding motion. You don't want to like glide your foundation around. You really want to pack it onto your skin like this. Do you see me covering my acne right now? I think it's actually working you guys. Tap de tap tap. And make sure to get the inner corners of your nose because if people see you from the side, they'll see that you are wearing foundation and people typically don't want to let other people know that they are wearing makeup. That's generally the norm. But if you're a rebel, go against the norm. Another tip is you want to blend down onto your neck so the color isn't as obvious and it just blends in and makes it look like it's actual skin and not um, a man-made product. 
And the next step of my foundation routine is to use an under eye concealer just to get rid of my black eye bags right here. The concealer I'm going to be using today is going to be the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circles Eraser. That was like a big mouthful. I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes right now. A trend right now is for people to create this um, triangular shape. I'm going to tap or pat this on underneath my eyes like this. And you want to blend this out really good so nobody knows you have under eye concealer on. And you really want to hit those black eye bags so put extra concealer on the black spots. Do you see the triangle I'm creating right now like going down and up? It just highlights your cheekbones, it gives it dimension. You can also take your under eye concealer and hit the inner corners of your eyes. It helps brighten up your eyes and make it look a lot bigger than it actually is, which I really need because I'm Asian and I have small eyes. Another way of finding out your under eye concealer color is to take your foundation color and go two shades lighter. And to finish up your look, you just want to take a powder to set everything in. What a powder does for you is it stops your foundation and concealer from moving and budging and it keeps it in place all day long. The powder I'm going to be using is from Shiseido and it doesn't have a color on the bottom so I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. It looks like it has a pigment in it, but it basically comes out very translucent, like there's no color. Just go with a really light dusting. You don't need a lot of this, just pat it onto your face like this. Bring it all the way down your neck. And there you go! So if you guys just want to cover up your acne, you can definitely stop at this stage. But if I'm going out and I know I want to impress someone or if I know I'm going to be taking pictures, I move on to a bronzer next. This is from Smashbox and it's in their color Saw Fusion Lights. What you do is basically you make a little duck face like that. Do you see where that hollow line is right here? That's where you apply your bronzers. And you just really want to follow that line you create when you make your duck face. This is where I practice my duck faces for um, selfies in front of the mirror, obviously. Look at that light right here hitting, and I'm just making a very natural shadow going all the way down to my chin. Bring it all the way down to your chin just makes it look so much sharper, like your cheekbone I mean. Most people like to stop around here, like they just carve it out here, but I like to bring it all the way down. And another place you put on bronzer is your temples. Apply it like this. And what I also do is I put bronzer on like the corners of my gray temples right here. Do you see how there's like a darkness right here? So it makes like the center of my forehead pop out and it makes it look like I have more dimension in my face, not just like a flat surface. Where I also apply bronzer is on the bridge of my nose right here and oops, I almost poked my eye over right there. Right here and here. Don't put it on the top of your nose, okay? Put it on like the side of your nose. So it creates this illusion that you have a small nose. And you want to bring it all the way up your nose, like that. And just do the same thing on the other side. And the next place I apply bronzer is on the bottom of my lips right here. So again, it emphasizes how pouty my lips are. After emphasizing where the dark spots are on your face, you also want to emphasize where the light spots are. What I'm using to highlight today is a MAC product. This is called Pearl. Very lightly, I'm going to apply it to where the light naturally hits my face. So right here on my T-zone. I'm patting this on right now, but as always, you really want to blend it out. And you also want to highlight the bridge of your nose. That's why I was telling you guys not to put the bronzer because light naturally hits the top of your nose and it creates the shadows on the side. So that's why you put the um, bronzer on the side. I really gotta stop looking at the viewfinder and look at the camera lens instead. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Apply some to the Cupid spell right here and apply some to your chin. If you want, you can also apply some to the bottom of your eyes where we uh, put that under eye concealer. It creates that Kim Kardashian triangle. 
and there you have it. This is completely optional, but my personal preference is to have a darker brow, so I'm just going to fill in my brows with the Mercelli Accent Eyebrow Crayon. Just make them look a little bit darker than they actually are. Again, you definitely do not need to do this if you just want to cover up your acne. This is like totally additional. I just think a dark brow really frames your face and makes it look way more dramatic. Like, can you guys tell this is so much darker than this one right here? <laughs> to be honest, I really don't have any technique. I'm just like blindly doing this motion on my brows. Doesn't that look natural? Last thing I'm going to do is put on a brow gel. What a brow gel does for you is it keeps your brows locked in place so they're not like flying everywhere. And the brow gel I'm going to be using today is going to be from Anastasia right here. Apply it all over my brows. And you don't need a lot of this product. A little bit goes a long way. I just like missed the tube if you guys didn't see. So apply it on the other side as well. And there you guys have it! That's my finished foundation routine! If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first one to know when I upload a new video. And if you have a friend that suffers from acne, make sure to send them this video because I do know what it's like to walk down the street and have everybody stare at your face. I'll see you guys in my next video! Bye!